all yes <laughs> i was just looking at this article four of each state to give credit to the public acts yes <laughs> Of every other state, full faith and credit shall be given in each state to the public acts, records, and judicial proceedings of every other state. <laughs> and the Congress, oh, may by general laws prescribe the manner in which such acts, <laughs> records, and proceedings shall be proved, <laughs> and the effect thereof. Oh, <laughs> now I'm just a little concerned about the other states of the United States. I know we had the fraud of the state. Yes. <laughs> And then we had the fraudulent use of the state court seal and serving someone other than the respondent and big question about, well, exactly who was there on July 31st of 2015, so poach. It seems that when I informed law enforcement that I wasn't given any due process, <laughs> the petitioner didn't sign it and it was issued for 10 years. <laughs> You thought, well, we can actually do this. He doesn't have any rights to his sons because he won't motion a court that violated my rights and theirs on July 8th of 2011. <laughs> well, you issued a protection order and I wasn't a resident. <laughs> that was over seven years ago. And now one of my sons is six foot two, 215 pounds and playing football for the Quilcene High School football team. <laughs> You know, I played football in junior high and high school, and I know how dangerous it can be, and <laughs> I probably have a little different life experience than their mother. Oh, <laughs> I did try football as a freshman for the Lewis and Clark Tigers. <laughs> and I realized that it can be a painful experience, especially when you're the center. You're the person in front of the quarterback that's supposed to uh, uh, protect the quarterback. <laughs> I don't care how big you are, you can get injuries, and as a dad, if I found out that my sons were injured in any way, <laughs> because you refuse to enforce the parental rights when issuing a dissolution of marriage, <laughs> I tell you, I'd sue this state, every state in the United States, for every fucking last plug, nickel, that the half, for any injury, uh -huh. To my sons. Now I know they're important to the football team, but if they experience any pain at all without my consent, if you're really doing those two a days, getting that team in shape, you know, as a dad, I have different life experience than the mom. Now, let's say <laughs> that you do know that the protection order that you issued is against the law and <laughs> there must be some books written about exactly the process uh, necessary and <laughs> you said all you had to do is put mental health evaluation and treatment as recommended and then you'd hear me in the judiciary <laughs> You know, high school athletics can be very, very dangerous. I don't know how many injuries have been experienced by those in high school. Yeah. But this whole game of football, I mean, I don't care how good the pads are, how good your helmet is. <laughs> As a dad, if I find out that they've experienced any pain at all for the last seven years, I'd sue you for that. <laughs> See, you had an obligation to make sure that I got notice of every court hearing. Yes and the opportunity to be heard and present the documents from my side. <laughs> now, why don't you get me the football teams and get me the consent forms and get me all the physicals and then get me all the coaches and get me all the mandatory reporters that seem to think that it's okay for the United States to issue court orders where I don't have anything to say. I think you're in violation of Article 4, approving uh, the effect of acts, public records, and judicial proceedings. <laughs> you didn't want to remove me from the docket in Jefferson County. <laughs> you didn't want to admit the evidence that I was in Port Angeles that day. <laughs> you said that I was trying to contact her through a third person. <laughs> and that as a father, I have nothing to say about what my sons do with their bodies. <laughs> Now, as a dad, <laughs> I would think that I do have something to say. <laughs> now, I'm really very upset at the judiciaries of the United States and all those law libraries and the Library of Congress and all those accreditations from all those law school libraries about all the books that have been written about how it is that you do have to actually enforce parental rights before issuing court orders. And you can't arbitrarily decide that somebody have to motion the fucking court. 
I'm going to sue the fucking shit out of every school district in the United States.